Hey there crypto miners, welcome back to the channel. So I got a viewer request to do a video just all about mining a, mining a TLM on Alien Worlds. And it came from a viewer in Nigeria. It's great to see how far my videos have been getting. I have lots of video, lots of viewers from all over the world. I noticed a lot of my viewers are from the Philippines. And it's just because there's such great passive income potential in some of these crypto mining games that in a lot of countries, the money you can make per day on these crypto mining games is actually a lot more than most jobs in some places so it's really prof i mean it's profitable wherever you are but in some places it's even more profitable compared to the cost of living so let's get started so you'll want to just google wax wallet or use whatever search engine or browser you prefer i use duckduckgo but that's just my preference and wallet.wax.io is the site you'll want and obviously you'll have to make an account. I'm not going to put in my password for the whole internet. I signed in automatically. But all you need is an email. So you can just type in an email, make a password, and they'll send you an email. You click the verification link, and that's it. It's the only information you have to give them is an email. And then it'll bring you to the home screen in here, your dashboard, I mean. Show your tokens. You can see some of the dApps. You can click this arrow to see more dApps, which are decentralized apps. Just an app that runs that interacts with a blockchain and there's alien worlds but really quickly first i'm going to spend about five minutes just going over everything to do with wax because you will need to use wax the wax blockchain for mining alien worlds anything you buy everything is done with wax your cpu staking so i'll just quickly go over that a bit quickly so you got two big things to note is at the top left you got the three bars which give you more options and this white circle is very important at the top white top right you can send and receive tokens between wallets, but resources is very important because you'll need CPU to have a bandwidth to do transactions. So there's no transaction fees on the WAX blockchain. I'll say that again. There is zero transaction fees on the WAX blockchain. But what they do is they delegate bandwidth based on how much you've staked to the network. So if you haven't staked any wax, you're basically at the bottom of the pile for priorities. And your transactions can still get processed, but you'll be last. So if it's 5 o'clock and it's busy, you'll get a message, you know, not enough CPU. The best way is to try at odd times. And the network is getting more bigger now as it grows. You might need a little bit staked. Like I staked $100 US about three months ago. And now that that's worth like 300 bucks because the price has gone up. But you can always unstake that. Like the, it's still year like that. Say about three hundred fifteen wax. I can unstake that and get that wax back. So the the blockchain works off proof of stake, which instead of just proof of work, basically, uh, you need some wax staked. If you're mining, so I'll quickly go over here before I jump into how it works. I'll quickly explain the interface a little more, but really important is this little circle on the top right because you will need. When you mine, you'll have to convert some of that TLM to wax and stake just to keep mining for bandwidth. That's in resources. And to buy wax, you can click here and there's several different methods. A lot of countries, you can just use Visa. Me, I'm in Canada, so I have to use a licensed financial provider. It's just Canadian law. So I use a, com a Canadian company called ShakePay. And basically, you give them all your information, your ID, everything. And then you can just e-transfer or wire transfer ShakePay. And then from there, you can send anywhere. I send to KuCoin, the wallet there, and then send it to here. And then to cash out, I do the reverse. I send my wax to KuCoin, and then to ShakePay. And then from ShakePay, I convert it to Canadian dollars, and then send it to my bank. And then that way, just for tax and law purposes, it's all with a Canadian company, right? But that's just the law in Canada. So obviously, check the legislation wherever you are and comply with all your local laws. But a lot of countries, you can just use Visa depending where you are. So you might have to get a little bit of wax to stake to get started, like five or 10 wax or something. Just if you if you get a message that says you don't have CPU, that's what it is. You need a little bit staked on the network. And to go quickly summarize the rest of the, the wallet here, you got back to your top, the dashboard at the top left, your NFT collection. This just brings you to the DAP menu, like the arrow. And staking rewards. So all the network, it's proof of stake. It requires the, the miners that have the hardware running the network also need the 
currency, the crypto, the, the wax, the, the tokens. And, and every day you get a reward. So say in another eight hours, I can claim, you know, a small amount of wax. And you can pick who you're staking with, which is just the mining group, right? So they're the Canadian proxies, it's just the Canadian mining group. And they'll get my votes. So my 323 wax, it'll be staked with whoever you pick. And then if they want to change something on the network, everyone can vote on it. And then what else? There's news. This is really good if you're big looking for drops. When you see these drops come out, basically two, everyone tries to get them and only so many people get them. So like this Hot Wheels one on November 16th. There was like 60,000 people tried to get them, but there's only 10 or 12,000 drops. So if you got one of them, they're $15 is the cheap one. They're selling for like 60, 70 bucks US now. So that's probably the most profitable thing if you got the money to try for the drops. So you can check the news and see when drops are coming up and go for them. But this video is supposed to be about mining Trillium, so I don't want to get too off topic. And here's the ether bridge. You can turn your wax into wax e and then convert it to ethereum into the ethereum blockchain to extract it that way and then DeFi. there's different uh staking pools like you can put convert it to ether and just it's kind of like interest you you deposit it and then they pay you for staking but that's a quick rundown of the wax wallet now to get into what the video is supposed to be about alien worlds no quick i forgot one thing quickly about the blockchain so there's the Wax Block Explorer. You can do a lot of things manually in here. And you can see here's a quick summary of the, the network. You know, 8 million accounts, 3.26 billion market cap, the price of wax. And here's the big uh, mining guilds. So basically everyone, like if you had a mining rig, like those Ethereum mining machines, you'd have to be with one of these groups. You can plug it in, join one of their networks, like say whoever, like pink.gg, nation.wax. And then people... Put all their mining hardware there as long as they and then they stake like see wax sweden borg has 1.4 million wax staked which is 4.9 4.5 percent of the wax votes every day they get 4900 wax given to them as a reward which they then give to the people that stake with them and and um what is it? yeah the top 21 producers run the network and then the ones below that are in standby so if one of these gets bigger than the other ones, they take over. These are the people that actually run, have the mining gear, and and run the network. And they vote on things. You, When you stake, you can give some, delegate to them, and they get your vote. So it's kind of democratically run quickly. That's just a bit about the network. And if you go up here and add wallet to the address, you can get into your, and you have to log in. There's just a few more functionality in the wallet here. You can see a more breakdown of your staking. If you click the menu here, claim GPM. This is where I normally come to claim them. You can claim, you know, a little bit of wax every day. Like I got 1.5 wax cent basically every day I get. And then you can also uh, do a bit of staking and stuff here. Buy RAM. You can, if you wanted your own to get your permission keys for your wallet, there's just more more options the wax blockchain can do a lot of stuff manually and if you search up the federation account for alien worlds you can do things uh manually too with the contract you click contract action you can manually do things like if you wanted to set your bag or do things manually they can be done in here all right now again to get into the game what the video is supposed to be about thanks for hanging tight so this is what you'll see when you start the game, the website. I don't want the video to get too long, so I'm not going to go through everything on the website. Alright, we'll try and keep this video from getting too long. Thanks for hanging by. If you like the video, make sure to smash the like button and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. So when you open the game, you'll see your tools and equipment here. You want to click this little button at the top left here beside your character icon. And that will bring you right to this screen. And you'll be tempted just to hit mine, but there is a quick little trick I can show you to optimize your mining. 
First though, I guess I should explain how the, the mining itself actually works. So one website you'll want to know about, if you search AW mining pools, I spelled it wrong, I typed it wrong I should say. So awstats.io mining pools. So this, everything everybody mines is comes from mining pools. <coughs> so you can see uh, the six planets in Alien Worlds are basically staking pools. So for example, Neri has 2.7 million TLM staked. It's 32% of all the trillium. If you were to stake TLM, like say you staked 100 trillium, you would receive 100 Neron tokens in exchange. And then when you wanted to unstake, you would get back those Neron tokens and you get your trillium back. And this uh more trillium is generated like proof of stake so and it goes into a mining pool so say neary has 2.7 million trillium 2.5 trillium per second is generated based on you know how much trillium is and that trillium goes into a mining pool which right now is 174,000, and that's where the money everybody mines comes from the game will try and calculate how much to let you mine to always keep the mining pool from running out so you can see here then the the, mine, the max mineable is always a little less because the some of the money does go to other things like the landowners get a bit of money. So say here there's uh, 174,000 in the mining pool for Neary and it shows 0 0.28 is being divvied out to the mining pool per, per miner and out of that 0.22 is the most you can mine because you know, 0.6, a little bit of that's going into a pool for the weekly rewards for the landowners. And your max mineable is if you had the best tools, you had 100%, that's what you'd get. So if you were on Neron, you mined with 100%, you get 0 0.46 trillion. All right, there's thousand people. It's always adjusting this, right? So you want to check this website for when to hit. Like if you noticed just a few seconds earlier, they were lower. So if I were to hit mine... A few seconds earlier, I would have got a smaller mine than later. All right, so th this website's really important to check for when you're mining. And you can see them on Neron. There's 67,000 in the staking pool and uh, 0.95 per second. And I'll quickly check tools. You can see here with my tools, for example, where am I? I'm on Neron. So there's uh there again the current mining pot sixty seven thousand trillium the fill rate, the charge time of my tools how how much you can mine and my mining percentage so I get thirty nine point six percent of whatever the pot is your NFT luck is your chance of getting an NFT like a little uh like these cards you can get a tool an avatar something like that and proof of work that costs more CPU so if you don't have anything staked that's the middle number here you see the bottom left number is mining power, the bottom middle number is proof of work, and the bottom right is NFT, and the top number is time. So if you don't have much staked, you'll want to look for land with a low proof of work. And how it works is it adds your three tools together. So here each of these have six mining power, that's 6%. So together that's 18% mining power. And then the land is a multiplier. If I was to switch land, you can see like if I was on these dunes, it's 1.3. So it would be 18 times 1.3 would be my multiplier for mining. And same with uh, for the time. And, and everything else is a multiplier, right? All the, the stats. And then the top percentage is a commission. So if their max mineable is, say, 0. 0.5, and I had 100% tools, you'd only get 0. 0.4 because 20% of it will go to the, whoever owns the land. Because these land, they're NFT items that somebody could buy. They're crazy expensive. They're like 10 grand US, but you get a percentage of everybody's mining. So you'll want to check the mining pools, see what planet's good, or what planet is the best for mining on. Right now, Iike's looking good. Right By the time I go there, it might not be the best, but let's switch to Iike. So we'll go switch planets, Iike. And then I'll go for one with, uh, Ice Mountains are pretty good, 1.9, probably get a better one. Oh yeah, it's Ike, Ike doesn't have big mountains. So we'll go with Ice Mountains, 5% commission, 1.9% multiplier. 
and force changing your, anything in your bag as a transaction, but there's no fees. But again, it would use CPU. So now I got 34.2% mining power. So that's what I'll get out of the max mineable on a yike. Obviously this is uh, not live. There's a little bit of a delay, so it's not 100% perfect. But see, now it's lower. It's at 0.3.4. So if I possibly wait a few seconds, it could get bigger. Or it could also get smaller too. Oh, and there it goes down. Now, I don't want the video to get too long, so it won't wait too long. I might just take a small mine here and give it a few more seconds. I shouldn't have, so I should have just stayed on there. On. Come on, update again. It says every four seconds, but... Point three. I might go back to cabin. But you can see by doing that, you can really optimize your mining by using that website. So if you like that, make sure to press the like button and subscribe to see more. I'm just going to wrap up this video quickly. Once we mine, I'll show you how to convert it to uh, wax quickly. I know this video got a little longer than I wanted it to be, but, you know, there's a lot to cover. What am I doing? Switch plant. Cabin. Should it be going cabin? Is cabin? No, cabin's not even good. I'm going to go to Neary, 0.88. Everybody mines Neary though, there's a lot of people. Neary's the biggest one, normally. Uh, methane Swamp on Neary, it seems good. But yeah, by using that website, AW uh, Mining Stats, just Google AW Mining Stats, you can really optimize your mining. That's a, lot of, a big trick a lot of people don't know. 1.14, I better mine. So what I get? 0.19 trillium. You can see where is it now? It's 0.66 is the max mineable. And with my tools and the land, I got 40% of that I could get. Right? So I got about 0.2 trillium out of 0.6, give or take, right? It's obviously there's a little delay in the numbers it shows you. But yeah, that's a, the best way to optimize your mining. And then um I don't want the video to get too long, so. Shinings NFTs, you can hit inventory, see your different NFTs. Shining, you can combine them. Governance is if you wanted to vote, you can stake on these planets. And if you have more than 500 staked Trillium, you can vote. And they can actually elect counselors and have a counselor and a leader on each planet. And they can decide how to manage the mining pot. Like right now, the people that stake are awarded nothing. It just makes the mining pool bigger, so you get better mining. But somebody could change that and they could reward Trillium to the stakers. They could adjust how much goes to the landholders, how much to the mining pots, and there's a lot of potential for growth. That's why it's a metaverse, because you can actually own a piece of, like these six planets are ran democratically and you can own the land in them, which makes it technically a metaverse. All right, now what do you do with your Trillium, right? That's the next thing. So the next website you'll need is the Alcor Exchange. So Google Wax Alcor, A-L-C-O-R. And find the wax.allcore.exchange. And this is where you'll convert your Trillium into Wax, which is the main crypto token for the Wax blockchain. So if you click this little uh, three three dots at the top right, you could go markets and uh, if you really wanted to get a good price, you could do it in here. But the simplest way is swap. So I'll just show you the, the swap because that's the simplest way. If you hit swap and then connect your wallet, this is how you'll convert your Trillium to Wax. So I'll put the Trillium on top. I'll click the whole 3.9 and then swap. And that's how you get your Wax. Now what do you do when you first mine? Now this video, I want to end it pretty quickly. I'll go back to my wallet. And so when you have wax, the first thing you'll want to do is stake a bit in resources. Yeah, I've only used 5% of my CPU with those few transactions. You can see the bandwidth, my da daily bandwidth or whatever. So just always, you don't have to stake one. You could stake, you know, 0 0.1 because you'll be mining less when you get started. And just constantly always keep staking more. And it's like a save, like 
that just stays there. You can unstake that. That money is always there, right? And uh, it's like a savings. It earns interest. It'll always be there. You can unstake it, get it back. And that'll keep you mining with bandwidth. And the next thing you'll want is to get better tools. So Atomic Market is the main marketplace. You can search collection. Or I guess Alien World should be right at the top. Yeah, Alien.Worlds. You could buy land here if you happen to have 10 grand US to spend, but there's tools. Let's go price lowest. The first thing you'll want, you're, you'll just be mining with a shovel at first, which is just one mining power. So you'll have 1% max mineable, right? But it also has a fairly low time. But the first thing you'll want is to get three shovels because then you'll have 3% mining power plus the land multiplier. So you get like a 2.2 .2 multiplier like mountains. You'll be mining like 8%. Oh, max. That's not good. So yeah, here's a shovel. Right? So I don't want to do an auction. You scroll down, you'll see suggested sales, which would probably be the cheapest one. You can see the price there. And anything you buy, any items, you obviously can resell. <coughs> yeah, 0 0 0.06 wax, 5 cents US. So the first thing you'll want to do with your mining is get enough 0 0.06 wax and buy another shovel and stake a little bit. So stake like even just 0 0.01 wax, like stake something just to get more CPU and buy a couple cheap shovels to get three shovels. And if you go to the Wax Block Explorer, you can search an accounts, m.federation, and then click contract on the right here, actions, then you can, here's a little trick for setting three of the same item. I know they might have fixed it in the update, but you can go, um, where's set bag, did I miss it? Set bag, there we go. And what you would do is you put your account name, so for example, me, it would be that. And then you would put in here with uh, brackets and commas. So how does it go? Uh, you would put the asset numbers. So you would go over to the store, you would copy. That's the auction number, not the asset number. I got it. Click on one. Again, sale number. Okay, there's the ID. Uh, I'll go into my own inventory. I'm pretty sure I have a shovel. So like whatever item you wanted, you would just uh, copy the number here. Why is this guy coming up? Anyways, that's the number you would want. That 109, da 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 da. And then you would uh, paste, I don't know why the copy paste didn't work, but you would put that number in there and you use square brackets and commas for all three numbers so you would it would be all numbers it wouldn't have letters it would just be like then you would copy and paste obviously these aren't real numbers the asset numbers of the tools this is another trick obviously it's not supposed to be that squiggly black right there and you would kind of put them in in that format and then you can manually set to put three shovels because i know the game didn't used to let you set three of the same items so that's a trick to set three of the same items. So those are all the tricks. The main trick using the, the wax blocks to set three of the same items is a really profitable trick because you can just set three shovels right off the bat. They're really cheap to get shovels. And then you have 3% three, 3 mining power plus the land multiplier, you'll be getting like 6%. The other big trick, of course, is the AW Mining Stats website to know when to click mine. So you watch if it's low and just wait a few minutes and let that number get higher right and next what tools you should be using i would suggest starting with uh just obviously the shovel is the tool you start with of course and uh 
Your next tool you're going to want is probably the power drill. Let's see how much that is. I think it's called the standard drill. Uh. Sometimes it has trouble finding things in the store. It's been a little glitchy. Oh, I was having trouble finding them. There's definitely drills for sale. Let's check off. Yeah, there you go. So that's the, the next item you'll want is the power drill. See, it has 2% mining power. So even just, like, first you'll get sho a shovel. Just buy a second one and equip two. Keep mining, stake a bit, then get your third shovel. And then eventually, once you have enough, replace one of your shovels with the drill you see it here it's 11.4 wax but it's worth like 10 bucks they used to be worth like five bucks they've doubled in price so another thing with these nfts you can resell them later so the first thing first tools you'll want is three shovels start mining with one shovel stake a bit for bandwidth and eventually get a second shovel then a third always keep adding keep staking more and then eventually slowly try and change those shovels to power drill or to standard drills they're about 10 bucks each or if you have the money you could just go out and buy three drills i would recommend that like if you have 30 bucks us in your wax wallet like just go buy three drills you'll be mining twice as good as with three shovels and then i would update once you have the money to the power saws is what i would recommend that's what i use they're probably about like 50 bucks now or something So yeah, here's a power saw. What are they worth? Suggested sales. 42 wax. So yeah, they're going for about 36 bucks US. This is what I recommend. Get three of these once you can. Then you'll have 18% mining power plus your land modifier will put you around 35-40% depending what line you mine. But yeah, that's it. For, sorry, this video ran a little long. I, try, I tried to keep it short, but there's a lot to cover. Just to summarize, the... You want to use wax all core exchange for switching your trillium to wax you want to use aw mining pools just google aw mining pools and you'll find this website for when to pick to mine and you'll want to use the wax block explorer to set three tools manually those three tips will really help optimize your mining and of course make sure you always keep staking all right even me with 300 wax stake, i keep just staking one wax every now and then just drop a wax on the stake so that's my guide. Thanks for uh, watching the videos. If you liked it, make sure to hit like button. It helps my videos get out, out there. It helps the algorithm show my videos to people. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Right, and uh, that's it for now. And happy mining. And just catch you late. Catch everyone later, crypto miners.